hear that? Just letting the life back in it. Okay, this is huge for everybody in the mushroom hunting world. All right, you got to get a close up because. We did morel mushrooms. They turn out really good, super dry. Look at it next to my hand. Put, it, put that. The big one? Just, That's just the top. <laughs> but yeah, this'll, this'll be awesome if it works out when rehydrated. You'll see that here shortly. I'm gonna try one of these smaller ones. But uh, everybody wonders how to save morel mushrooms and you know, the only way to do them is cook them as fast as you can pick them. So if this works, then we've got something magical happening. We also made yogurt bites for the babies. So we got the little cube trays and they turned out pretty good. How are they? Good. <laughs> this is the best part. No, don't mind this. This is more mushroom than I couldn't fit. This is Jello. Mm. It puts the Jello in the pudding. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's like Jello popcorn. Mm. And they taste really good. So I cut this one. It seems like they're working pretty. Yeah, I cut them before. This one I didn't. And that's gonna be a, a little more difficult. Oh, that's gonna be some work. We're gonna have to soak it probably. Yeah. So. Oh, it's like leather. Is it? You know why? Can you put juice in this one? I put cranberry juice in it. Oh. So I bet it's too, like, look. Okay, that was horrible. But it's like, like rubbery kind of. You can't hear it. Yeah, that's gonna, that's I'm, gonna suck cleaning. So my wife's gonna do it. So don't do that. But yeah, stay tuned. We got some more ideas. We're gonna try to double up some jello like this, but we're gonna do rainbow. A bunch of different flavors at once. You gotta save some of those for the kids. Nope. All right, guys. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back. We'll rehydrate a morel mushroom and see how it works. See you soon. Pig. All right, guys, show us the mushroom. There's the leftover little morel. It is completely dry, bone dry. Look at those nails. Wow. Ooh. So um, we've got some warm water here. We're gonna see what happens. There's been no way to store these. Everybody either fries them and freezes them, or, I mean, the old way I did it was package it in a plastic bag and suck all the air out of it. But this. But sometimes you go and find them and you find like. Turns into, I can store them in a jar. Cause it's not like you go, you know, morel hunting and you find like a hundred of them, you don't want to eat all those right away usually. Yeah, that's ready to go. Hmm. 
Who's ready for dinner? Freeze dry Arkansas is. Mm. Bye.